Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in with Washington Life. I'm gonna go surf fishing. It's been a while since I've been out surf fishing. I'm gonna show you guys how to rig up real quick because I'm going tomorrow morning. I'm gonna do it right now. What I'm using is uh, for my leader, I'm gonna use the 20 pound test line mono because it's easier to change back and forth. The reason I'm using 20 instead of 15 because I'm gonna use three ounce weight right here. Um, it's gonna be pretty rough current out there, so I decided to use three ounce instead of my normal two ounce. And then I got four, five all in here. So what I usually do is when I start my leader, I do it about arm's length, like that long, okay? From here to the end to my swivel. I'm gonna cut it. Really easy setup, taught myself because I really enjoy surf fishing. So I try to find easy ways to rig up and there's a lot of ways to do it. You know, this is not the only way. So I know people's gonna comment, you're doing it wrong, blah, blah, blah. But this is how I do it. And if you guys like how I do it, you can definitely copy me. I'm just making this video to show any beginners that wanna tr um, try and surf fish or get into surf fishing, you can copy my method. So this is gonna be um, the end of the leader right here is gonna be where I put the weight. So let me start over again. So here's the end of it right here. And um, I'm gonna make it the, the circle pretty big so I can fit my weight right here, my pyramid weight in here. So I'm gonna show you, so like this, and then I do a normal tie. I go about two times in the hole, one, two, and then I pull it out, make sure right here is big enough so the pyramid weight will fit through. See, it will fit through so you can tie it on. What I mean by that is this method is easy to take on and off with the weight. You don't have to tie it. So let me show you what I do. You put this circle piece into the hole right here of the um, weight, the pyramid weight. And then you pull it back out, put the weight through the hole, and voila, it's gonna stay on there. And then if I wanna go lighter, I can change it easier without having to tie. Ah, stuck on the loop. There. Ay, 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 there you go, see? Stuck on there. If I wanna change, just pull it out, put a new one on, super easy. That's why I do it this way. And now what I wanna do is I wanna make about maybe two feet away from my, maybe two and a half foot away from my weight. This is where I'm gonna put my, my first hook. So I'm gonna do the same knot as I did for the weight. So twice, maybe three times if I want it for it to stick out farther, but I don't want the hook on the leader to stick out too far from the actual main line because it's gonna tangle and I don't want it to tangle. And what I mean by that is I'll show you the finished product, what I mean, because if the hook stance sits out too far away from the, the, um, <clears throat> the line, it's gonna tangle, see? So here's the line, right, of the leader. This is where my hook gonna go, right here. So it won't tangle all together. If it sticks out farther out, it has more chances of tangling. I don't like that. So that's gonna be my first hook. And then I'm gonna do another hook right here, okay? About a foot apart. Really close to my um, swivel. One and two. And for state of Washington, you can have two hooks out there. I believe Oregon's three, but I think that's overkill. I like to do two. There you go. My swivel right here is a little too short, but it's okay. It will do the job. First hook, second hook, and then all the way down to my weight right here. And then I'll show you the hook. I like to use um, size one odd hooks. Uh, where's all my hooks? I like um, these ones right here. The reason I choose these hooks, not sure what it's called, I think it's hot claw hooks. 
because once you put the 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 weight i mean the um bait on it doesn't come off you see how it has extra barb right there so it'll keep the bait on a lot stronger versus these hooks where it's smooth and there's no barb right here so the the the, the bait whatever you put on will slip off I like these ones because it's got the barbs. I like to use these ones. So I'm gonna show you how I put it on. This is really kind of hard to put on because you gotta squeeze the end of the line right here, make it really narrow so it'll go into the hook right here. So it'll go into this hole, the hook. Right there. kind of hard to do there first try and then you pull it and do it the same thing as you did with the um, the weight and then I do it this too because it's easy to change out out and take it off and on see that's the first hook so you see what I mean by making it short how it sticks out it's not going to tangle into my line that's the first hook and now the second hook, do the same thing. I'm gonna grab the same hook there, put it on here. And this is a lot stronger. And I used to tie them, but when you tie them, it's hard to make it short on the line. So when you do it this, it's easier to make it on the line. But like I said, it's kind of hard to put the the two line through this hole, but there you go. So this is gonna be the setup for tomorrow. And then I'll tie my swivel on. I like to use these kind of swivels cause it's easy to tie onto my um, main line. There. All my tying, techniques are super simple and easy I don't really like to use those complicated ones because it's just surf fishing for perch you don't need any complicated it's not like salmon or sturgeon where you got to make a strong um, knot because surf fish um, perch they don't really fight as hard there you go so here uh. is my my um, setup my this is my um swivel first hook about a foot apart second hook and then about two and a half about almost three feet no two and a half feet my weight and then this i will tie into my main line all right guys hopefully that helps you on your surf fishing when to get started um i will definitely start the next video when i'm out on the beach wait and see how i catch the surf perch it'll be fun i'm excited i can't wait gotta wake up early morning but anyways i hope this video helped you guys to get started if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe smash that like button and share the video and comment if you like it anyways i'll see you guys out there shortly all right thank you so much for tuning in i'm out bye